These are your two setups here now, Lee. Left-hand side before, right-hand side you're after, okay? So, a lot of this sort of stuff we're doing, all this, this for me now, you get some good, and a lot of times you're sort of making these moves now that aren't necessarily going to be a thing to worry about. You get, as we said, a good top of the backswing position. You get there? Here we go. Come on, there you go. So you get the golf club into a good position. Now, you can see here how you kind of turn, because your shoulder's quite high here, you've turned and gone this way with your head. Yeah. So your head at that position now looks very sort of left side head down. So now when you come to the golf ball, it's going to encourage that. If we can start off kind of tilted to your right a little bit more, so your peak of your cap, as you said, feels like you're aiming kind of to the right of the golf ball here, not to the left, okay? As you come back in the golf ball now, that right shoulder now, as you see your head as you come in the golf ball now over the top, and your head now quite sort of leaning down this way, shoulders going left, okay? This one here now as you get the top of the back swing. Oh, hang on. So, good position here now as you start coming down. That right shoulder stays back. The arms are coming through a nice part through your sort of right forearm there. Very, very good hit. No over the top here now. As you come in the golf ball, there's impact. And your head now looks a little bit less tilted that way. Just look at the peak of your cap. Yeah. How your head's going around that way. Not a massive amount, but enough to make it noticeable where the left hand one, you're kind of this way. And your ear's quite high here and your face looking down there. And that's going to encourage this sort of right shoulder coming over, just cutting across it. And then to be straight, you sort of just prod your arm forward as opposed to being back here and getting this sort of mentality where you're hitting the golf ball. Now, this left side, your left side of your body, left hip, left shoulder, needs to feel higher through impact. So that drill we did against the wall, yeah. I've talked this now. So you stand with your left foot against the wall. In a golfing posture. Now, to start with, you can just stand in a setup position, there, Lee, and then from there, just put your left tip on the wall, left hand on the wall, and just look now where my sort of my head orientation is. My head's looking down the ground. So I'm not going to have my head this way or turning my head or my shoulders to the wall. I'm setting up here, hip hands, okay, hip hands, and just do that, hip hands. It's not turn the hip. If I do that, my chest now faces the wall. I want the sensation as you come into impact. Your chest is facing back to the right of the ball, the feeling of being more this way. And in some ways, you can't exaggerate it enough. You could almost do this, okay? Because you'll never get anywhere near that in the game of golf. You'll always do this when you play the game of golf, yeah. okay? So trying to exaggerate this sort of left hip, left shoulder being higher, hands coming in this way, this shoulder staying back and under. Like I said, tall players, their hips around here. They can get down next, they can keep the shoulder back. Most golfers I teach, and if not all golfers, aren't going to get into that position here. Now they're just going to go, Hup, they turn their shoulders, and so now they're cutting across the ball, big slice. Yeah. Lose power, lose energy to the golf ball, and then they get the feel in their arms, because their arms then swing across their chest, way into their left pocket. Oh, it's really arms on that one. Then again, a weaker shot, people associate weak shots being armsy. They're not, they're just too much body. <laughs> yeah, there's the other way around. So get your body feeling set up, a little bit left hips slightly higher. Mm -hmm. Think about your hands. On the golf club, your right hand is below your left hand, isn't it? Yeah. So your right shoulder should be below your left shoulder. Therefore, your right hip should be below your left hip. If you were hands on the club together level, you're level, level, level. But you're tilted, aren't you? So you start off here. We make that good turn. Hips out of the way here. He's turning into the wall, into the wall with the hands. Okay. Keep this shoulder back. That is the only thing to think about. Back swing, you get in a really good position, though. Eh? You're under the pane of glass. It's that transition down the golf ball, where you stay behind it, underneath, and get this right hand in that sort of pebble skimming kind of this way, almost like a frisbee throwing that way, I guess, if you're doing sort of that movement there or throwing a ball. We don't want to be in it with the chest turning too much, this hip coming and your head leaning down this way to the left and kind of manipulate with your right arm. Okay, mate, make sense? Cool, yeah. Cool, have a couple more in to finish off then, buddy.